Hi, welcome back. Perhaps the most useful tool for anyone wanting to learn to draw or to paint is a sketchbook or multiple sketchbooks and using them regularly for ideas, trying out different paint combinations, sketches, um, little rough paintings, all sorts of things like that. And I would encourage you to keep a sketchbook. These are some of my seascape sketches. I, mean, I have many sketchbooks because I'm constantly picking, grabbing the first thing that comes to hand um, when I get an idea. So I have lots of different sketchbooks. Line and wash. Um, well, not not wash on this. I'm going to be washing this one over. This is the ink. Um, so most of my sketchbooks are made with watercolour paper because then I can paint them if I choose to. Let's say, just any time you get an idea, just try it out in the sketchbook. Try it out several different ways, you know. It's a really useful thing to do. Sometimes you can get inspired. Like I found this little Victorian Christmas card in a flea market and it had a lovely little um, quaint village harbour scene. Um, so I gave it a go and sketched it out. And the sketch eventually turned into a painting which I then sold in my Etsy shop so I was very pleased with that. Trying out ideas, um, just scribbling away, sketching, changing position of things, trying out colours, can all be done in a sketchbook and then you're more prepared when you go in to do your painting. Here I decided I wanted to paint a shipwreck. So I just scribbled around in the sketchbook. The first one looked just a little bit too stilted, but I think the second one at the bottom, um, I got the lean about right. Here I'm trying to paint a boat scene in the style of Ed Wesson or Edward Seagull. So a sketchbook's a nice place to sort of copy from paintings and old masters. You can always learn from that. This bay here, um, sketching out ideas, trying to work out how to get the perspective of a bay right. Also sunsets, they're interesting things to try. Very difficult thing to paint actually, a sunset with watercolour. Um, without it looking muddy. I mean, this sketch is a bit muddy, but it's a lot of fun to paint. I say I'd rather try the colours out first in a sketchbook before committing to an expensive piece of watercolour paper. I hope you've got some ideas from this, and I hope that it's been helpful to you in some way, and that maybe you'll start up a couple of sketchbooks might be a good idea to have one for seascapes, one for landscapes, um, or like me, just multiple sketchbooks, several in every room that you can just grab whenever you feel like drawing or sketching or painting. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this. And ah, here are just two small paintings that came as a result of some of the sketching that I did in the sketchbook so it shows you um, how useful it can be to try ideas out in sketchbooks first and then you're able to produce a painting that comes together quite well. Thank you for watching, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye!